the storylines are already writing themselves heading into that first game in Charlotte, and then you realize who you're coaching against, Will Muschamp. At what point after you got hired did you realize that was your first opposing head coach, and what do you think that's going to be like for you guys? Uh, it'll be great, but it, it's uh, I've coached against my brother. I've coached against guys who have coached for me and with me. Sparky Woods is on our staff. Last time I played South Carolina, he was the head coach at South Carolina. So what you do is you, you're proud of Will. You're proud of all he's accomplished. He's done a tremendous job there. Game starts. You don't even know who's on the other sideline. Then the next time you even think about it, it's when you're shaking his hand after the game. So uh, I, I think more than anything else, I'm proud of all he's accomplished. We spoke to him last week, and he was very complimentary of you now and the way you handled everything back then when you were both at Texas and the coach and waiting situation and, and what he had learned from that situation. What did you learn from that, that whole ordeal? Uh, I messed that up because we, uh, I, I did it because I thought we could win a national championship and Will was getting opportunities to be a head coach and we needed to give him a great title to um, give him the big raise that we needed. He made $900,000 at that time, which was still a whole lot of money, but it was a huge <laughs> amount at that time. Yeah. And um, so we made him coach in waiting. What happened was people thought I was getting ready to quit. And, and that made it tougher for me because everybody was asking how long is he going to stay and, and assistant coaches got confused some. So uh, Will did a great job handling it. I thought I handled it okay, but the perception was not what the reality was. And, and I wish we hadn't done it. I, it would have been better if we had just made him uh, associate head coach or mm -hmm. something instead of coaching waiting because it sounds like I'm waiting on the guy to take my job and therefore there's a, an end in sight and neither one were, were factual.